Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. I am Bones, we're doing a few different things in the spooky station, which is... Oh, okay. Oh, this one seems... This one? Oh, it's a bad ghosty there. No! And this is spooky cooking, so the spooky station is like a thing that has a bunch of mini games on it. Today we're going to try and do some of these for you to show you the ones that it has. I think we're trying to get basically the highest score. So some of these are sort of time wasters, like spooky cooking I think seems to be. This is all hand drawn I think, which is cool. Also, we originally wanted to do this on Halloween. Um, but it was a super busy day and uh, did not get around to it. And then tonight I wanted to do it, but had a or yesterday I wanted to do it and had a bunch of technical difficulties. <laughs> but as you see, this is a really easy one. Avoid the things, try and make sure that you get all your pumpkin stuffs in the pot, the cauldron. Oh god. That one was hard. I wonder what happens if I hit that. We're gonna try... Again, but, uh, no. I mean, it's... There are some of these. One of these is actually a Halloween roguelike. Spook Kids. I have played that one. I wanted to get that one recorded for you all. But, uh, for some reason it does not like OBS software. So that one I cannot get running. Um, but it is a pretty neat little title. So I'm going to do two more after this, because OBS, the software I do all our Let's Plays with, has a pause button now, which is way overdue. Alright, so I have a new record now for me. I can get a rhythm going here. This is not too bad. Ah, that one, that one. I'll do one more. Uh, so I'll tell you one thing about spooky cooking is it's pretty catchy because then you just keep running out to your score. Now, I don't know what happens, but I'm gonna just see what happens if I don't do that. Okay, so you have to launch your pumpkin within a certain amount of time here. Like life, don't wait too long. That guy's a sneaky. Just an extra little pumpkin in there. I'm kind of trying to time these and figure out what I can do, but I feel like I can rapid fire some of these and really increase my score a lot. Oh my god! That was too greedy. Um, but no, I really like the art on this one. It's pretty cool. And anything Halloween, you know, we like. So, although it looks easy, Certainly, got a little more challenge to it than you think. Because if you wait too long at all, then you don't get your your pumpkiny dude. Will explode as I found out the hard way. Like, see there, when it does that, then you're in trouble. And you have got to launch at least one. All oh, that was luck. I'm gonna try two again. I feel like, too, as you go on, these things move quicker. And look at that. Oh my god, I cannot believe I got three in there. And I had 30 every time. Oh no! 32. So we're gonna pause it, and I'm gonna select another one. Uh, the menu itself is pretty neat. Uh, it's not full screen, though. So I'm going to let you discover this spooky station menu yourself. But basically you click on each thing, there are very different kinds of games. Um, like I said, Spook Kids is a roguelike Halloween game, which automatically had me, and it's multiplayer, which is cool. And like I said, I'd love to be able to do that one, for some reason I can't seem to, so let me pause this here and then I'll be back with another one. And 
Uh, at least I believe it paused. I don't know if it paused or not here. Just in case it did not, let me take a look. Yeah, it says it did. Okay. Let's do it that way. Invite thing works. See, we're doing Thursday the 12th. So the idea here is that I want to show you guys the difference in the things that you can, you can do. Let's turn that off quickly so it doesn't drive us nuts. Again, sand drawn, which I like. You can see even there, he's to be. Wazda. I don't think it's code to walk. Inspect. No. <laughs> There's a hand on the pillow. That seems somewhat important. To your day. I feel like that's the guy from um, Half-Life 2 there. I don't want to cancel either, so I understand that one. So the things I need to do, go tab. Make up, shower, cereal, jacket, mask, car, and tools as in quotes. Which definitely makes me feel... Um, like that's not legitimate tools. Obviously that's a metaphor for tools. That's a nice book. Serial killing for dummies. Because why not? We gotta feed our dead fish, of course. Always make sure you feed your fish. That's me. That's your person. Um, best teeth in the game. I guess that's true because it's the only person we've seen. There's all the soaps. A shower. Oh, we can go in here. There's already blood in here, so that's a great sign. I like that somebody voice acted the humming. Just a little nod, if you guys know from uh, episode 2 of Star Wars. That was a weird one. Hey, that's what you want in your closet. Just tons of skeletons there. See, it's metaphorical, I think, guys. I don't know why he keeps going, haha. <laughs> really? So, clearly there are some references to the room I just taught. Um, the knife to meet you. See? See what he did there? The, uh, I guess I said this before, but I really like the drawn art. I feel like if somebody made a first-person shooter like this, I would certainly play it. Hint, developers, hint. So let's go look at the serial killer's severed hands. You don't really know the difference if it's written. Who's reading this? We need that, clearly. Let's see the milk. So we need cereal. Oh, the fridge says stabby. Well, that's good, first of all. There are severed hands in the freezer, but one has a thumbs up, so it's alright. Um, so not only is my guy in this a killer, but clearly he's a cannibal, because that's got to be human. Yep, yeah, there's a brain in the, uh, 
There's a brain in there. I feel like there's a deeper meaning to all these little paintings here. Um, will this be more fleshed out? I don't know, but I already feel like there's a story developing for this person. I think she's dead. <laughs> this is a very angry news man. And then it says, oh, ha ha ha, it's me. I'm on the TV. That's amazing right there. That's, a, that's me. Oh, ha ha, the kids love it. Is there any like, little Easter eggs here? Okay, so there's a car. There's. Look, you look great today. Love you, darling, it says. Oh, hi, doggy. Yeah, so that's a reference to the room, by the way. So yeah, we're definitely a messed up serial killer. I mean, that's we can all agree on that, right? Well, of course you need your sword and your chainsaw. Inspect. Did I complete my list? Yeah, everything left is a car. So let's do it. It's all right. So that's it. We I think we just beat this little game. This kind of played more like a tech demo, I think, but interesting. Very interesting. Cosmic rain. Try story mode, eh? Clouds cover the moon, the cosmic rain will end and seal your lessons. You better be quick. Your first lesson is very simple. Take the red blob and split drop it on the cauldron. That's a J or Blackies uh, and maybe sing Wazda or Hades. So right, let's do this. Ah, something tried to attack me. Help. Oh. Okay, so I got a little space. So, oh god, oh my god, I really quick. Man. So. Marjorie moves quick. There's a little blobby. Just a blobby? Just a blobby? Do I put other things in there? I feel like just the orange blobby goes in there. For now, we're just gonna do the orange blobby in there. No, orange blobby. Oh no, what is this thing? Leave it alone. Alright, Marjorie, you can do this. Marjorie. Get the man, leave my witch alone. up saying in games that you never... You guys have a bunch of that where sometimes you'll think to yourself. I never thought I'd say this in a game. Or about a game, or... I don't know, I have weird dialogue. I feel like... Oh my god, there's so many things in here that are kind of attack. There's really so much attack. I feel like I don't even know what that thing's real purpose is. Let's go have some fun here. Let's take a potion, see what that does. That mushroom looks like death. So I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. Besides, these are different lessons. The game is certainly starting to pick up them very quicker now. So I get all the orange blobbies in there. So this is Cosmic Rain. Congratulations! You know you did the same with the but with the red and green blobs. We have to do it in order, or the spell will reject it. So ah. What did they say? Green and red. But I think the red are first, right? Cool. So I got a red one. Now I need a green one. Who's your ass, weird Halloween frog? Red. Oh, hold on. Something happened. Now this one I need to figure out on my own. So this one I I'm looking at the bottom here, guys, and you'll see. Looks like green, or rather orange. 
Oh, you got a red. No, I need green. It's a red green thing there, so let's see green. This one is pretty cool too. So actually there's a... Uh, Again, I'm not even touching on all of these. It's just three of the games in Spooky Station. This would have been a great Halloween episode. I do see Pumpkin Boy. You won't need his head for the recipe. For that, you must use blob powers. The three blobs of the same color and a vertical line to mark, make them pop. With the alchemy of the explosion, you'll get a blob potion. For every different blob color, there's a different blob potion. And for this, let's use a blob potion to find a way to get the Pumpkin Boy head. Right, pumpkin boy. I mean you now, sucker. Alright, that's right, I gotta stack them, which I don't necessarily need this. So now, this one is kind of a different puzzle. This one is almost like, um, oh, piss off with that. It reminds me a bit of, like, Dr. Mario, you know? So I got this one. No, Marguerite. Do it, Marguerite. Oh, fuck off, little frog thing. He's pissing me off what a pumpkin boy is. Pumpkin boy, you're a dick. Piss off, pumpkin boy, you little shit. Blue, I need it over here. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, this one is really picking up quickly. Yeah, you got a blue potion. Sweet. What do I need? I need a green, don't I? Hey, watch. Let's grab green. Green. Anything? And, oh, I can get this off. Both he is. Both he is. You son of a bitch. So let's do that. Oh my god, I hate this thing. So I think the other basic idea here, guys, is that I'm supposed to... All of these things to be happening at once here. Come here, pumpkin boy, you little shit. No, there's a timer running out. No one did I not stack. I stacked orange, I think, tonight. Uh, I got an F. Womp womp. Well, anyways. So these are games from Spooky Station. I highly recommend you check it out. If you guys have not, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I am Bones. There's going to be a link below. There's always a link. Make sure you subscribe. Um, we're trying to do more Let's Plays. It's just been a little crazy. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and like things because that's pretty nice to do. And uh, the link for buying this game will be below. Because they're all, the three you saw today are part of a collection at a spooky station that are all Halloween-y themed, so it's pretty neat. Okay, bye.